please don't copyright me. I'm sorry, I love you. Hi guys, good morning. It is Monday morning, welcome to the vlog. I'm gonna be really honest. It's been a rough morning. I'm not feeling my hottest today. Had a pretty rough weekend, had a great weekend, but just, you know, not, again, not feeling the best today. And then on top of that, I've been dealing with this like weird sickness thing lately. I don't know what's gotten into me. I just feel like nauseous and not well and my stomach hurts and I don't know. So yes, it is Monday morning. I woke up extra early and went and took a soul cycle class this morning, which was super hard and I really, really, really didn't want to go. It was super funny. I got to class and I had signed up to be in the front row, which I usually sit in the front row just because then I like can focus the best. But I woke up this morning, I was like, mm-mm. In no way am I gonna make it through this class in the front row when I feel like this. So I walked in and the manager just was working and I was like, hey, I'm gonna need to move to the back and she laughed so hard she's like just one of those mornings I was like one of those mornings so yes I took the class and then I went home showered did my hair my hair is looking a little crazy today but it's fine it's all good and I didn't have time to put any makeup on and then I went to my doctor's appointment I'm like in the parking lot right now and now we're on our way over to a meeting in a little bit so I packed up my makeup in my little carrying case and I figured we would do our makeup together in the car I don't know this has become my new thing apparently and you guys know I'm always go 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 that I kind of have to like plan out like things like this kind of ahead of time so I knew I had a little time in between the doctor's appointment and my meeting so that's why I thought we'd do this together and I also tweeted out to you guys and asked you to ask me some questions and I figured I would answer them while we're doing this together today is gonna be a super fun day I already got a bunch of stuff done and today's meeting which again I'm heading over to in like mm, 30 minutes or so. I am so excited about you guys. Oh my gosh, I know you guys are gonna be so stoked. Of course, like a normal YouTuber, I can't share too much stuff, but it's gonna be so great. Trust me, I know you guys are going to love it. I've gotten so many questions about it, and I'm just really excited. The meeting's over at my agent's office, and it's only like a couple miles away, so we're just gonna like chill here in the car for a little bit, do the makeup, talk, it's gonna be fun. Oh yeah, and then after the meeting, I'm filming today, and then I got some sunscreen on my face. Eli and Timmy are coming over to film and get some work done, and and then we're going to go to a concert tonight and we've just got a lot of other fun stuff planned. So it's gonna be great. We are going to start off by priming the skin. I'm using my little Makeup Forever primer. My posture is atrocious. I also look like a gymboree baby in this shirt, but I love it. All right, I totally forgot like hair ties. I also forgot to put my earrings in this morning. It's just been a day already. Little mattifying primer on the skin, just in the T-zone area, because I've been getting really oily lately. I don't know if it's like the weather change or what, or if it's just my skin freaking out again. It smells like Olive Garden. <laughs> Tila asked, do you love me? Also, I miss you and can't wait to see you. Tila, I'm obsessed with you, you know that. Tila is genuinely one of the nicest girls I've ever met in my entire life, and I love you to pieces. I appreciate you, and I hope that you're having a good day. Next up, foundation. I'm going to use the Natasha Denona Foundation X in 60, medium and dark. She doesn't want to come out today. Oh no, did I bring my empty bottle? Oh shoot. Oh well, I'm just gonna improvise here. Everything has a weird smell. This smells like blue cheese now. What is wrong with me? I'm also wearing white shorts and I need to be so careful because knowing me, I'm gonna spill something. It's just a matter of what time of day, not whether it's gonna happen or not, it's just when. You guys are a little dark. Should I lighten you up a little bit? Better, okay, sorry. Next question. My brain is everywhere, you guys. I'm still kind of waking up even though I've been up for like four hours already. Courtney asked, can we please hang out? Yes, I love you, Courtney. And what are you most excited about for the future of Honey Pop? Love you and so happy to see you. So genuinely happy lately. <laughs> That was really nice. Thank you so much. First of all, Courtney, love you. I really, really appreciate the support. You're so sweet. I always look forward to seeing your tweets and everything, and I really love you and appreciate you, and yes. Regarding Honey Pop, hold on, I forgot the question already, my brain. I'm super excited for Honey Pop to kind of evolve sort of like as I'm evolving. I absolutely love the I'm on staycation tonight face mask. Like I seriously love it so much. It's such a great product. I genuinely have so much faith in that product alone just like based on the ingredients and everybody's just been loving it and like the reactions have been amazing, which I genuinely had no doubt, I'm not even just saying this, no doubt in my mind that everybody would love it when the product came out. I feel like I've told this story before, but seriously, when the product first dropped, my managers were like, okay, so like, what's our marketing tactic going to be? Like, what do we do from here? And I was like, you guys just trust me, wait till people get the product, try it out, and that that is just gonna be enough because it's seriously that good. But for the future of Honey Pop, I'm super excited to kind of make different products that are kind of 
more geared towards my lifestyle now, if that makes any sense. When I came up with the face mask idea, that was like over like a year and a half ago or so. It's been such a long time and I still love the face mask, still stand by the face mask. It's great, especially for nights in where I'm just chilling and I want my skin to feel nice and refreshed and clean. Love doing it with my friends, love doing it with my girlfriends and my mom and things like that. But I'm at a completely different place in my life now than I was a year and a half ago. So I'm just so excited for all the new products to work with you guys on new stuff and for you guys to be a part of the process and then also to kind of have it evolve with me and who I am as a person now. And it's just gonna keep evolving as I keep changing because I am gonna keep changing because we all keep changing. So that is my answer for that. Best workout clothes that are budget friendly. P.S. Love you, that was from Mika. Love you too, girl. And also Mika's like the cutest name I've ever heard and I'm really jealous and I wish my name was Mika or Mila. I love that. Um, ooh, I'm gonna name my next dog Mila. Cute name. I would have to say Target stuff. Target and Forever 21 have amazing things. Target sells obviously the Champion brand. Forever 21 has great stuff. Old Navy has great leggings for a pretty decent price. They are a bit pricier, I will say. Surprisingly, Old Navy is like not that cheap, except for the two for five flip flop. Shout out Steph. But they're definitely worth the investment. They're great quality stuff. Side note, I just put the Tarte Creaseless Concealer under my eyes. This one's in medium golden. And now I'm gonna set my face with the Infallible Pro Matte Powder from L'Oreal. Oh my God, you guys, I feel so sick. I don't know what it is. <sighs> I gotta get to the bottom of this, but hopefully I'll be okay. Side note, also I tweeted out, you guys, the other morning I woke up, I think it was Friday morning or Saturday morning, one of the days I woke up and I I'm starting to feel like myself again. Putting some contour powder on. Look at you guys, I hit pan really hard on this. And I feel like I'm finally getting used to all these changes that have happened to me because so many drastic things all happen at one time. It was really hard for me to cope with, but now getting more used to it and it's becoming more of like a routine almost. I don't know, this is like a normal conversation that I just have up in my head by myself, but it's nice to talk to you guys about it and hopefully someone else can relate. And I'm feeling good and I'm starting to feel more like myself again, which I tweeted and a lot of people were so sweet and like, oh my gosh, yay, we're so happy for you. And that meant the world to me, so thank you. Since you've already been to your dream vacation spots, Bora Bora and Greece, where do you wanna go next? I love you, Remy, love you too, Martin. You guys, I can't believe that I was able to go to my two dream, dream, dream vacation spots within like two months of each other this year. This year's been insane already. Love to return back to Japan because when I went, I think in 2015, I didn't really get to spend a ton of time there. So I definitely wanna go back there and then I also really, really, really wanna go back to South Korea. I went back in 2010 with my family and I definitely didn't appreciate it as much as I would now. I love learning about my family's culture and just everything like that. I think it's so cool. I love the music, I love the food, I love the history, and I definitely wanna go back. And I, I definitely will at some point in my life. I just don't know when, but I would love to go with my whole family too because I know that would mean a lot to my parents since they were both born and raised there, so that'd be really cool. What's your favorite trip you've ever been on? Hands down, Paris. First of all, it was just amazing. I got to travel with Alicia, love her literally to death. Benefit was amazing. They planned out everything just so well, and it was so much fun. And then on top of that, I think that also, it just, the timing of everything was really good for me. Again, as I said, I've just been feeling so much better lately and like genuinely happier, and so being there, I was able just to like focus on the trip and focus on myself and all these sorts of things and it was honestly best trip of my life, hands down. Miss it so much, I wish I was there right now. I put Max Indian Wood Paint Pot on my lid and then now I'm gonna use this little NARS palette, it's like a little quad. This is in the shade Mojave, so pretty. How do you stay self-motivated? Let me just say, first of all, trust me, I am not always super motivated. I will say, with this whole health journey though, I've realized so much about myself and I realized that I actually do have way more willpower than I thought that I did. I am a lot more motivated than I thought that I was. And I've also realized that I'm the type of person where when I put my mind to something, I make it happen, which I didn't know any of this before, you guys, so I've been really happy with that and learning so much. I've learned that I'm a really big list maker. I keep saying this, but this is honestly how I kind of keep to a schedule for me it's just really like putting things down in a planner or putting things down in my like Google Calendar thing I like swear by my Google Calendar and if I write that I'm gonna do something then I do it I don't let myself really procrastinate on things anymore if I need to get things done I'll just get them done because they have to get done at some point, so you might as well just do them now. That was my advice. My eyeshadow looks awful. <laughs> if you have any cheat days, what is your go-to meal and do you feel guilty eating it? Love you, Remy. Love you too, Erica. You guys are so sweet. I wouldn't say I have cheat days. Like, there's not days where I just completely binge. I mean, actually, sometimes I do, I'll be honest. I don't know. 
I really don't like limit myself. I've been actually really, really good lately and I've been really working on establishing a much better relationship with food and I've honestly been doing really, really well. It needs to be a sustainable lifestyle. So I recognize that and I'm not too hard on myself. My go-to cheat meal is definitely a burger. Most of the time it's like a vegan burger or something like that, but I'll also be honest, sometimes I just really need a normal cheeseburger and I'll have a normal cheeseburger if I want. But yeah, I have plenty of like cheat meals. I don't really like calling them cheat meals, but just like normal, you know, meals when I feel like it. You know, it's not like a salad or something. For instance, this weekend, Friday night, I went out with Shelby and we were at the bars and we were having a fun time. Um, and then I was like, you know what? I'm ready to go home. And I went home, postmated myself some tacos and a vegan burger, ate them, watched Jeffree Star and Shane's series, finished it off, sobbed myself to sleep because it was so good. It's healthy and you need a balance. It should be, I think it's 80-20 with your diet and you need to let yourself have your cheat meals and let yourself have fun with eating because you can't be too hard on yourself because again, it needs to be sustainable if you want to make it last a lifetime. If you could only eat one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? I want to say cheeseburgers. Cheeseburgers or sushi. I love sushi, as we all know. Brows are filled in. Moving on to eyeliner and the next question. What are some things about being a YouTuber that a lot of people don't know about? If you guys missed Alicia's new video, she just did an amazing video interviewing a bunch of other amazing YouTubers. Oh, that is bright in my face. Talking about a bunch of stuff that people kind of don't know about YouTubers. I'm sure we've all seen it, but if you haven't, go check it out. Seriously, such a good video. Something in the video that she pointed out that I kind of realized people don't really know about is the fact that we, or a lot of us, have full teams behind all of us. It's so weird. Like, yes, we're just like normal people, but also at the same time, we're kind of like a business in a sense. So like a lot of us can't do, I don't know actually anybody who just does it completely on their own anymore. Like for me, for instance, behind me on my team, I have two managers, oh, technically three managers, an agent, a lawyer, a publicist, and then I work with Eli who helps me film and edit, and then I work with Haley who's my graphic designer every week. So it's so crazy, there's like so much that goes into just like this video that you're watching right now. And I will say, I feel, wow, it's really hard to do eyeliner and talk, two seconds, hold on. Gotta let the hooded eyelids dry, am I right ladies? Gotta fan them out. I will say, oh my gosh, I love every single person on my team to death. I seriously feel so lucky and I feel like I found every single person like a perfect match for me right off the bat. And it's really hard. In LA it's kind of hard to like trust people and at least in this industry it can get kind of like sleazy sometimes to be honest. But I love every single person on my team with my entire heart. I know that they genuinely have my best interest at heart and it's just I've had an amazing experience. So. Now I'm gonna put my lashes on and if anybody from my team is watching this, I love you to death and thank you for being in my life and I just love you so much. Favorite thing about being single? Ooh yeah, let's talk about love life. I just threw my phone down, I need to be more careful. I think my favorite thing about being single is that at least right now in my life, what I wanna do is just kinda live my life just for me and just focus on myself and kinda just, you know, do me. And there's gonna be a point in time where I don't wanna do that anymore and I don't want to you know, only share my experiences with myself. But at this point in my life right now, I actually really am enjoying being single. I'm having a lot of fun just doing me. And I think for a long time, I was like, I want a boyfriend, I want a boyfriend, I want a boyfriend, just because I feel like all my friends had boyfriends and I was like, oh, that's like what I want. Like that's what everybody wants, right? And eventually I'm sure I'm gonna get to the point where I meet the right person and I'm like, okay, I don't wanna live my life without you. Here's hoping. But until then, I'm actually so completely fine and content and I've accepted that I'm single right now and this is genuinely what I want. And then again, when I meet the right person, then I'm sure I'm going to change my mind. But as of right now, haven't met the right person yet. So I'm actually feeling like really good about it. And it's taken me a very long time to get to this place right now, but I don't know. I've been really, really happy. Again, I keep saying this, but just feeling so good. I don't know. All right, we got a lot of questions about love. Let's just tackle all of them. How's the dating going? It's going well, I would say. I've decided I genuinely enjoy dating. I think that I used to be so scared of the whole idea, but I really like meeting new guys and I like just kind of like getting to know people in general. I've been really enjoying it and I finally think I'm ready to like do dating videos on here just cause like I think it'll be fun and I'm feeling a lot more confident in it now. And plus I think that they'll be very entertaining for all of you, so. Those will be coming eventually when I'm ready. I'm putting on mascara, by the way. This is Lights Camera Splash. Oh, cute. 
cute light camera splashes by Tarte, which I think that means that this one is the waterproof one, if I'm correct. I had no idea I was using the waterproof one this whole time. Can we get an update on possible bays? Oh my gosh. All right, as of right now, there is actually no one that I'm even slightly interested in. If you had asked me this a couple weeks ago, it would have been a whole different story, but right now, in this moment, how I'm feeling, I have zero feelings for anybody right now, which is like, I haven't felt this way in a very, very, very long time. Having so much fun with my friends. I have so much fun stuff planned this week and I can't wait to bring you guys along and I'm just so genuinely excited to just make memories with them and stop worrying about whether someone's gonna text me back or if they're going to reach out to me or if I'm ever gonna see them again and this and that because I'm just over it and it was just too much wasted energy and now I'm just living life and doing fine. <laughs> all right, couple more questions. Let's see. First of all, you're a queen, thank you. Second, what's your secret in weight loss? Illy, Illy too. I've been getting a lot more, oh man, how did I get mascara on my cheek? How does this happen? Okay, so surprisingly, I've been getting a lot more questions about making weight loss videos and things again. I was making so many of them in the beginning and then I just kind of started to chill with them because I didn't really have a lot of new stuff to tell you guys or to teach anybody and then I didn't want to annoy anybody but I've been getting so many questions about making new videos for you guys and when I have new content and new ideas and things for you guys regarding the whole weight loss situation then I of course will make videos for you but everyone keeps asking me like what was my big secret and like can I make these videos and I I thought to myself like didn't I make enough I feel like I made actually way too many people were getting mad at me but I actually will say I don't think there is like a secret like there's not something I can tell you and then it's gonna work for everybody everybody is so different the biggest thing is just discovering your willpower and your self-control and then again just kind of trying your best to stick with it but also recognizing that it needs to be sustainable if you want it to actually become a lifestyle change then you have to recognize that this is going to be your life forever so if you want to have a burger then eat a burger because it's not gonna kill you something that I kind of had to think about a lot too when especially in the beginning when it was really hard for me was that I didn't gain the weight overnight you know it was quite a few years that it took me to gain the mass amount of my weight but then also in retrospect you're not gonna lose all the weight in a night either think about how long it took you to gain the weight it's gonna take you that long if not longer to lose the weight most likely so that's something to keep in mind is that it's not a race and it's a lifestyle and you just you just have to stick with it but again if you want to have your cheat days you you need to have your cheat days your cheat meals and things to stay sane and to just live a normal life you can't have a salad and lemon water every single meal for the rest of your life well you can but you'd be probably very sad so i think it is really just important to remember that it is ooh, pretty be a human and make mistakes and also just let yourself have a little fun with it because otherwise it's not going to work out for you Wow, this highlighter is poppin'. Wow, this is the Fenty Sandcastle Kilowatt Foil Highlighter. A little on the nose. It's so pretty. Wow, I don't really think I've used this a ton. Like it, and I'm using this brush that I got from, what's that brand called? Glossier, super cute. Throughout, oh, this is perfect timing. I'm gonna leave in like two minutes. Really took my sweet time getting ready. Any crazy neighbors? Not really. I have one neighbor that I don't love, but you know, it's fine. They're not banging on my door screaming at me, so it's okay. Oh my God, you guys have so many questions about Honey Pop. I love that you guys are so into it. That means genuinely the world to me. Thank you so much. Yes, there will be new Honey Pop launches soon, but I want to include you guys in the whole process, so I'm super excited. Obviously, with the first product, I really wasn't allowed to include you guys with the whole process solely because it, it was a big secret process and there was so much happening behind the scenes and things but now that honey pop is obviously established i am so excited to include you guys with literally everything will you ever cut your hair short thinking about it i'm not thinking short but i'm thinking like a lob like maybe like there or something one day eventually but you guys know i love the long hair as of now all right lips i'm gonna put on this glossier what is this called? It's like a lip balm, but in the shade Leo, which is like a brown tone lip balm, nothing too crazy. Okay, we're gonna end with this question because this is a really good one. I love doing this. If you guys want me to do more Q and A's, please let me know, I'd love to do more for you guys. Last question is, best thing that's happened to you so far in 2018? Finally being able to accept my body. I know that sounds super weird, but I think for a long time, just so much happened and I was dealing with so much and I was so confused and also just like so many changes were happening that I wasn't able to process everything. And then as I said, if you guys watched Nikki's video, I actually, I struggled so much with so many things that I didn't open up to anybody really, honestly, like even in my real life about it. And I kind of just like stayed quiet and then it made it seem like on YouTube 
that, you know, I lost all this weight and it was super easy and it was super perfect and I didn't have any sort of problems or things like that. And by me not opening up and by me not being vulnerable, it made a lot of people upset with me and I've had so many people messaging me, especially as of lately, after they saw that video, a lot of their resentment, like they'd see my videos and see that I was just so happy all the time and I lost all this weight without, it seemed like I didn't even really try and this and that and it made them resent me a lot and then a lot of, honestly you guys, so many people have messaged me saying that after watching Nikki's video with me or just watching any of my vlogs more recently where I've opened up, they could genuinely feel the resentment melt away by knowing that I am also struggling and that I have struggled and that it wasn't as easy for me as I made it seem. So to anybody who's messaged me, by the way, I'm not able to reply to every single person, but just know I do see a lot of them. I read as many as I possibly can and please know it means so much to me. But yeah, I think the biggest thing for me right now that I'm really proud of is that I am finally coming to terms with it. I feel like it's been long enough now too where I, I kind of like feel this change now and I've like recognized it and I'm able to kind of move on now from it Whereas before I feel like it was like really weighing me down no pun intended and it was just kind of like holding me back So I'm feeling really good and I still have a long ways to go. Don't you worry still got a long ways to go So yes, that's where I'm at. I hope you guys enjoyed this little Q&A section if you guys did Let me know and I'd love to just do it more often for you guys I'm always just like doing my makeup in the car because I'm always going somewhere or doing something so if you guys liked it Let me now here's the finished makeup look I'm gonna be honest I've looked a lot better some days but that's okay I'm now gonna move my little short legs back up to the pedals so I can reach <laughs> and then I'm gonna head over to the meeting I will see you guys somewhere along the way there's a really cute guy over there okay I am going to go to the meeting and I'll see you guys somewhere along the way hopefully I can vlog in the meeting we'll see if not I'll see you after bye side note Louis the child dropped a new song with Max who I love from how to rock I'm just saying it's called dear sense and I really like it and you should definitely listen to it and I love Louis the child okay that's it see you soon <laughs> Hello, we just finished our meeting. Hello. All my favorite people in one room, especially for Nav. Oh, yes. <laughs> here too. Check out this great snack situation we had here. Beautiful. I would drink that, but I can't have caffeine today, so I can't. Thank you for having this, so this is my favorite. It's my favorite. It's my fit. You should take it. The Steve's? Yes, they're so good. At least someone's like the taking them. They're so good. What flavor is it? Let's get a haul. Peach. Ice cream cheese. Yum. Peach. I have the worst angle. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious. It is good though, right? Good. Yeah. Thank you. Ah, hi guys! Don't worry, I'm not looking at the camera, but I just needed to get my genuine emotion as I'm driving away from the meeting right now. I am on my way back home to go start working for real for the day. Oh my gosh, I just had the best meeting ever. I am so excited. I don't even know if I'm going the right way down the street right now. Well, I'm going the right way. Like, I'm driving the right way down the street. Don't you worry. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. I just had honestly like one of the best meetings ever and things are so exciting so yes i'm going home now still feeling really sick but it's okay i'm just so excited i don't feel anything i'm numb yes i'm gonna keep you guys as updated as i can and uh yes okay i love you i'll see you soon bye daisy. look how excited she is daisy come here come here Oh my gosh, she, she loves, loves you. Also, Timmy's here. Hello. Hello. We're all home, okay. hanging out. Oh my gosh, she's so excited. Hello, guys. Okay, so we are back from the meeting. Everybody's here. The whole fam is here. And I wanted to do an unboxing for you guys, a really, really, really exciting unboxing that is genuinely super close to my heart. Today's unboxing is going to be with Ivory Ella. I want to give a huge shout out to them and thank them for sponsoring this vlog. So, if you guys haven't heard of Ivory Ella, they are this super, super cute clothing brand. I've actually bought stuff from them before. I don't know if you guys remember way long ago on my Instagram We're gonna have to scroll way way back I had this tie-dyed sweatshirt that I bought and it was actually from them forever ago I've got to find it. Hold on. Let me do some scrolling. All right. We found it this I posted on July 7th 2017 I wore this little tie-dye hoodie that I got from Ivory Ella. I saw it online and a lot of my college friends would shop on there. And a really big thing that always stood out to me was that Ivory Ella actually donates 10% of net profits to Save the Elephants and other charitable organizations. So I'd always hear about that. And first of all, their stuff is really cute, but then second of all, I heard they did these amazing things. So I love them and I wanted to support them and I'm super excited to be working with them today. So yes, we have a haul of some stuff. I got my scissors and I wanted to open it up and try this stuff on with you guys and just show you. And we'll get Eli and Timmy's first reactions as they're sitting on the couch over there. Here we go. Cute. First of all, we have this one here. I got a lot of like t-shirts and things because I want to start wearing more t-shirts with like jean shorts and just be nice and cash during the 
summertime, even though it's almost end of summer. Here is our first shirt. Ooh, it's a pocket tee. Actually, Eli, you would totally wear this. I feel like, isn't it? Oh, I want that. <laughs> Eli's channeling some inspo already. Yeah, that's so, so cool. I know, right? I love. Wait, I've seen this brand before. No, I know they're like everywhere. Ooh, this one's so soft. I like this like cornflower blue color. It's a little bit more fitted, and then the little elephant pattern is so pretty. I love this, and I love the pocket. I think the pocket's so cute. Oh my god, there's so much stuff in here. Thank you. Oh my god, this one's so soft too. Oh, it's a long sleeve. I love a long sleeve. Looks like this, super soft. It's got the pocket in the front, and then the two elephants riding a bicycle. This is me and Eli. This is, ooh, another long sleeve. I love, I actually think this one's my favorite so far. I love this shade of purple. I've never seen a shade of purple like this, and then the back, is so pretty. It looks like Adeline's doodles that she puts on her Instagrams. Ooh, another, oh, this one's gorgeous. I love this color, and then look at the back. That is so pretty. Look how good the artwork is. We've got this one here, which is minty green, which I love mint green. It's another long sleeve. This is actually gonna be perfect for like fall and winter. I could totally just wear these with leggings and be super chill and super cute. And then we've got some soft shorts here, which I love a soft short. Here's what they look like. They're so, oh my God, these are actually the softest soft shorts I've ever felt in my life. Ooh, you can go to sleep in those. These, so I think they are sleep shorts. I'm, well, I'm gonna wear them out in public though. And there's a little elephant patch on the bottom and then we've got this which I really really wanted this is a reusable water bottle you guys know I'm all about my reusable water bottles and this one especially is so cute definitely gonna use today look how pretty that is <gasps> How beauty grew of me. That's so pretty. And I love that it's clear so I can see what's inside and how much water is left inside. And then last but not least, what I talked about earlier, I did not know this was gonna be in the box. We've got another rainbow hoodie. The elephant in the white. I'm totally gonna wear this and this to sleep tonight. Hi, Daisy. <laughs> She wants some doggy wear. So yes, that is everything that Ivory Ella sent me. Thank you so much to them. I'm seriously so, so excited. I'm so excited to have this back in my life again. I'm gonna try some of my favorite ones on and then show you guys which one should I try. I think definitely this one. I love this purple one. And then we'll do a shirt too. Okay, I'll be back. All right guys, we have the first shirt here. I love this. What do we think, you guys? Looks really good. I know. It matches your skin tone really nice. Thanks. Cute. I actually really do like it with the shorts and the shoes too. It's super cute. And oh my god, the nails. I love the little pocket in the front. You gotta flip around. Oh yeah, there's the back. So cute. I love how detailed it is. Check that out. Oh yeah. I just like tied it in the front with a little rubber band. But you could like tuck it in or you could just wear it long if you want. Here's the first shirt and it's so comfortable and soft. I think this is a size medium. I'll let you know for sure. I'm gonna go check and then I'll switch to the next one. Yay. All right guys, we got shirt number two. This is the long sleeve, the purple one. Side note, everything is in a medium. I love the color and it's super soft, perfect for fall and winter and just like lounging around my apartment, which I do every day. All right, we've got shirt number three. This is the last one I'm gonna try on for you guys right now. It's the long sleeve minty green one. I like it with the dark hair and also I tied it like in a little knot in the front. Feeling the look, love it, it's so soft. Really comfortable. I think this is like the perfect size, I would say. What'd you just say? Your hair with your sweater looks like mint chocolate ice cream. It really does, and then what'd you say? <laughs> Makes me hungry. <laughs> the MySpace angle. They literally. <laughs> all right, so we ended up finishing all of our work super, super, the, the wind in my hair right now. We finished all of our work super, super early today. We were on it, we were productive, and now we're gonna go get some food. We are currently walking over to Tender Greens because I had a salad there the other day that I have been craving since. Hang out for a little bit, do some exploring around downtown because we have time before the concert tonight. Maybe Eli will vlog, maybe Timmy will vlog. It's a free for all. All right, see you at Tender Greens. I'm so hungry. Stay tuned to see, goodbye. We just walked a mile in downtown, had a wonderful stroll, breezy, nice air. We made it to Tender Greens. Oh, wow. We've been expecting you. Wow, this thank you. <laughs> you yeah. Oh my God, this looks so good. Look at that fried chicken. Chicken. Almond berry cake, a vegan peanut butter crunch brownie. Oh my God. I got my salad, you guys. It is so good. Me and Eli are actually the having smile. hair. Oh, delicious. Yeah, skinny legends. Skinny you know. legends. <laughs> skinny legends do eat. Yes. yes. We got a Cheat shrimp bowl. <laughs> we got a shrimp bowl. What did you get? The chicken? Hey, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> you got to put it higher. <laughs> I don't do it I don't do it that high. To me. <laughs> We're walking around downtown right now. Uber. I don't know her. <laughs> Remy just... <laughs> Get this reaction because I'm gonna always get a moment. I know. <laughs> it literally will. I've seen him with cookies before. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, it's really good. <laughs> now, Remy's reaction. Wow. It's more than another rice. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good. What's your rating? 10. <laughs> Thanks, um, Mom. All right, Timmy's bite. Oh my god, that was so good. Whoa. <laughs> so you guys gonna Venmo me like a dollar each? <laughs> if you are what you say you are, a there's superstar. Cotton candy. Oh, there's cotton candy grapes. I'm so excited. Cotton candy grapes? Yeah, this is Remy's favorite section. Everything is green. So, both Remy and Eli left me. I feel like a lost kid in a grocery store. This is my last video. <laughs> this is gonna be the best vlog ever to edit. I'm just saying. I'm gonna have a ball. <laughs> Look at these meats, dough. Ooh, you getting some mayonnaise? I need to get some new zesty garlic aioli. Remy in her natural habitat. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you want to come show them my um, makeup drawers? Yeah. Look what I spent my time doing yesterday when I should have been. I know this is somewhat productive. We've got all my makeup here. I cleaned it out. And now it's nice and organized. Whoa. Thank you so much. Look at this lash book I have. ABGs are shaking. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Where's your boba? Do you have your boba in here? <laughs> Earlier, Daisy was hungry and she tapped on her bowl. So Timmy put down one pebble and said, You're full. <laughs> Don't worry, we gave her more food. Yeah, she's fed. She's well fed. But boy. Oh. oh. Choice goes for my, my nose. little Korean girl. Yeah. Final look. Top from Brandy Melville. Shorts from White Fox. And then, uh, that's, that's Barefoot. It. Bare feet. <laughs> Sangria <laughs> one. Oh, no. <laughs> So as you saw, we went to the concert and it was seriously so much fun. We saw a girl named Claro and she was awesome. I am now home. I'm wearing the Ivory Ella tie-dye sweatshirt and the sleeve shorts. And honestly, both are so soft. This sweatshirt is amazing and I'm going to wear it seriously every single night now. So expect it in every vlog. But yes, also Eli's still here. He's sleeping on the couch. Say hey. Hey. He's spending the night because tomorrow we have a really jam-packed day. And yeah, I'm going to go to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.